In acute myeloid leukemia, measurable residual disease is the term given to very low levels of leukemia cells that are undetectable using traditional tests. At the time of AML diagnosis, there are a number of factors a healthcare professional may look at to predict a patient's outcome and to make treatment decisions. These include age, underlying disease, and genetics. Although these characteristics help to paint a picture of what a patient's future may look like, outcomes still vary. A more advanced approach is to assess measurable residual disease, or MRD. MRD is the term given to very low levels of leukemia cells that might persist during or after treatment. MRD is not detectable using traditional diagnostic techniques, such as viewing cells under a microscope. MRD is usually present without any symptoms, but these leukemia cells can multiply and eventually cause an AML relapse. In AML, a patient is said to be in complete remission if there are less than 5% of leukemia cells, known as blasts, in the bone marrow. That's one leukemia cell in every 20 healthy white blood cells. Newer technology allows much more sensitive detection of MRD. This means that just one leukemia cell can be detected in as many as one million healthy white blood cells. Analysis for MRD can also identify genetic errors in the leukemia cells, which can help healthcare professionals suggest the best treatment for a particular patient. MRD technology is therefore a lot more sensitive and provides more information on the disease compared with traditional methods. A patient might be told that they are MRD positive, which means that a small number of leukemia cells have been detected. If a patient is MRD positive, their healthcare professional may suggest further treatment to remove remaining leukemia cells. MRD positivity is believed to be an indicator of patients who might relapse and may need closer monitoring. If a patient is MRD negative, it means that there are no detectable leukemia cells. MRD negativity has been associated with good outcomes in patients with AML. It's important to note that MRD readouts are not absolute. Patients who are MRD negative can still relapse, and those who are MRD positive can stay in remission. MRD analysis is used alongside other well-established diagnostic techniques across a number of types of blood cancer. Increasing evidence suggests that detecting MRD is important to establish a greater remission, predict relapse and allow early treatment, and help with treatment decisions. For more information and to see whether MRD testing is available to you, please contact your leukemia specialist. Our goal is to facilitate and improve the knowledge of AML worldwide. For information on what it means to be in remission, visit no-aml.com. Hashtag no-aml.